Hello everyone, this is me Sadia here and I'm back with the remaining month of uh, November reads from the 22nd through the 30th of November 2023. This reading is going to be for the sign of Virgo. So Virgos, let's see what's coming in for you for the remaining month time. I will be adding a lot of cards here in this reading. So stay tuned and before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it's a general reading. It may not, may not resonate with everyone out there. Pick whatever resonates and leave the rest. And uh, for personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. So let's see. Well, goes what's coming in for you for the remaining month of November time? Let's see what's coming in for you. Queen of Wands, Three of Wands, and Two of Wands. And in the deck, we do have Four of Swords. Wow, it's a beautiful energy to have, to be honest. I really feel like you're feeling good about yourself right now, for the majority of you. Um, this this uh, remaining month is going to be the time where you're all going to feel happy, positive. You will be getting a lot of attention, to be honest. And um, you are readily receiving this appreciation, love, and care coming your way. But at the same time, um, I really feel like, you know, emotionally, there is something that you're missing in your life. But having said that, you are very passionate in this remaining month time. You're going to feel like, you know, working towards your goals, desires and dreams and uh, that too happily. I feel like, you know, you will be setting some new goals for yourself. Um, there are things that you're waiting to manifest as well for some of you. Probably it's a love life scenario. It can be a work life scenario, but you are happy. You know, the, the energy is really positive. Uh, even if there is something that you're waiting for and it's not coming through, you're still very positive about it. You're still hoping for the best. You're wishing for the best. You are desiring the best. You don't feel like, you know, um, it's a small, like you are on the mindset of uh, gratitude. You're happy, positive, grateful. Um, you know what do you want and you're happily getting it is what I'm picking up. There is uh, something emotionally, I feel like you're not, you know, you're not like, you know, there yet. Maybe there is a specific someone that you desire. Maybe there is like, you know, you're missing love in your life. But at the same time, you're not letting that kind of like, you know, control your emotions completely here. And I really feel like, you know, for majority of you, you are becoming stronger than ever. Uh, you know, even if you have to be alone right now, you are okay with that. You're strong. You are, um, you have you, to be honest. And um, I really feel like, you know, you are, you are changing your mindset about things and, uh, situations for some of you you might be like you know there there might be things that you have diligently working towards there might have been a relationship that you badly wanted you no longer want it you know this remaining month time is going to make you change your mindset in so many varied ways that maybe you know if there has been a person that you wished for you're probably not going to be like wishing for them anymore you know you are happy without them you are happy without this thing so for some of you there might have been a you know, like I said earlier, maybe you have been working towards something. It's not going to be like that important to you anymore. You know, maybe you still want it, but it's not like not having it is not going to mess you up. So again, you are becoming self-sufficient is what I'm picking up. Um, and you don't care much about others. You you care for you. You care for your yourself. You, you really want to become a stronger person. You really want to work on your happiness. But you're not depending um, for your happiness on others at all. And I feel like you're know, you happy, you're excited, you're fun. The, this remaining month time is going to be more where you are like more focused on your own um, growth, be that financial or otherwise as well. And you are going to be like happily working towards that. I really feel like you know, for majority of you, like I said earlier, there will be eyes on you for sure. But... I really feel like, you know, you are enjoying every bit of this phase of your life. I feel like, you know, probably this happened after a very long period of your life that you're getting the attention that you want in a positive way. And uh, and I really feel like, you know, it's uh, be that in your work front or love life as well. But you are not like, uh, um, it's just more like the attention and the love and, you know, whatever you're getting right now, you have owned it. So you do value it, but at the same time, you're not like uh, letting that define your worth, to be honest. So there is a control of all and everything that you keep in your hand 
by by being this person who you have become and i really feel like you know it's a change that happened not overnight but it took you time it took you years to be where you are right now so i really feel like not much happening in your love life right now because you're not like more focused on that um you are becoming self-sufficient maybe there has been a person on your mind that you wanted to manifest but you no longer want that person anymore as well let me see what can be happening for you in your love life right now is there anything happening in your love life during this remaining month time because i really see you more focused on your growth personal financial and it's it's it has nothing to do with a lover or a partner that you might be with um it's more about you, you, you. Yes, a lot has changed. Nothing much is happening. Maybe you recently broke up with someone um, or at least stopped wishing for someone. Um, and that change has occurred. I feel like maybe this person has been, you know, treating you not so right. So you chose to kind of like, you know, put an end to that. You know, you're not, you're not longer, you know, in that neediness uh, for, for this person or, you know, this connection that you had with this person. Let's see what else is coming in for you for the remaining month time. <clears throat> Wedding. The situation involves marriage. Now, for some of you, I really feel like you, know, you really don't want to be in a relationship. You would rather want to be in a marriage. You would rather want to be in a committed relationship. And if something like that comes in, you would be happy that it happened. But at the same time, you're not like uh, chasing after it. So probably the goal that you're setting now is probably to get married. And it doesn't matter you get married to the specific someone or somebody completely new. All you want to get married, you know, all, all that you want is to get married uh, with the, the ideal partner. So if the specific someone is not having anything um, to do with the ideal partner that you had created in your mind, I feel like you would be... You would be kind of moving on, moving forward to marry someone who has it all. So, yeah, let's see. Um, what else is taking place here? I feel like you have changed. Your your thought process has changed for sure. And for good, for better, for sure. Let's see what else is happening here. What is the guidance for you for this uh, remaining month time? Life energy. The happy fairy of sunshine brings lots of life-giving energy. She reminds you to shine your light and to reveal anything in the shadows that needs to be healed. I feel like you know, that's exactly what you're becoming. You're becoming more beautiful as you embrace your true self, value your true self, and you are becoming the old version of you that you once were before you met this wrong person who was treating you bad. So I feel like you know, you're becoming more vibrant and your energy is becoming more positive and attracting the right kind of people um and i feel like it's your time to shine your light and um you know lighten up all and everything that you become a part of uh, so the next card says just listen carefully for there may be a message in the music you hear music can lift your soul rekindle memories and charm fairies to your door so listening to music um, depending on your mood, is going to be very helpful. Make sure that you avoid sad music to avoid sadness. But yeah, whatever makes you feel happy, positive, go ahead, do that. Uh, playing some uplifting music can be the thing for some of you. But yeah, um, if you really don't want to um, stay lost in the past, I would suggest you not to kind of like, you know, listen to any music which is connecting you to the past, especially if you want to move forward, move on. But yeah, yeah. Um, that's pretty much it coming up for you for this uh, remaining month of November time. If it was of help, do like, share and subscribe. And uh, until I do the next read for you guys, take care and bye.